Hello everyone, my name is Darth Thingcap, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trilogy, the Aesop of Attorneys. Now, last time, Larry, our good friend Larry Butts has gotten himself into quite the predicament, and we're about to meet our new witness who has saw his deceased girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. So, let's see who the witness is. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant leaving the scene of the crime. <laughs> Order! Order in the courts! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. Oh boy. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Bring out Mr. Frank saw it to the stand. Please tell us for what you saw on the table. Witness testimony. Witness account. I was going door to door, I was selling new subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing in the park. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw him lying there, a woman not moving, dead. together. Oh, well, I got so much lotion on me. Feels good. Hmm. He does have much lotion. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Are phones supposed to be worked during a blackout? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. However, some correspondents do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Saw used was one of the owners. Your Honor, I have a record of blackout from your, uh, for your, uh, perusal. Here. <laughs> Electricity to Miss Stone's bill was out from noon to 6 p.m. the day of the crime. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Uh, cross cross anything, Your Honor? All right, right. This is it. A real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you're supposed to expose the lies in the temple. Just here. Lies? What? He, he was lying? Oh. Oh, so much drama. Your client is innocent, right? And the witness must have lied in the testimony. Or, think you your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not guilty? You hold the key. It is in the evidence. Compare the witness testimony to evidence at hand. It is a bound to be found contradiction in there. First, find the contradiction between the court and the record in the Then, once you found the contradiction, present it and rub it in the witness face. All over his face. It looks like the logo. Witness account. Alright. So we can press it. Is it a man leaving an apartment of common sight? I find it odd you would not take notice of him. Er, uh, <laughs> I don't know, he just seems strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad and he was my friend at the same time. Say? Yes, yes, the door was open 
Almost halfway, yeah. I watched for a moment, but no one came to close the door. That's odd, in a big city like this, I thought. I see. And what happened next? I think it was strange. Then I looked inside the apartment. What gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. Is it only human you want to? We climb mountains because they are there. Your words have never been spoken. Anyway, go inside. Hmm. Why did pain protect him also? So you looked in the apartment. What happened next? And I saw a line. A woman not moving. Are you sure she was dead? Well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well, what happened next? I swear I was frightened to find myself in the middle of the Well, you didn't touch anything in the apartment? Uh, yes, I mean, no. Don't you hear what happened next? Body at 1 p.m. You sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. <laughs> Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement just directly contradicts the autopsy report. As we know, the time of death says sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, or should I say, no body. Blood. Body. No body. At 1 p.m. How do you explain the this? Seventh witness. Dude. Right. You know what you must do. I got this one. Trust me, my lady. Let's see here. Let's see what we got here. 
Cross time at the points. Gladly. Alright, so uh clock here the time. Um so here, here, the time is up. So there's a table clock on the first one. Oh, yeah. Table clock. Wasn't there a clock at the scene? This is the first time I've heard of it. Yeah, the murder weapon. I still use it. Oh, yeah. The murder weapon. Yes, the table clock is used as a weapon. I said. Objection! This thing? Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock? It was the statue. Now, nah, well, how's this supposed to be a clock? What? You with your objections and your evidence. Who do you think you are? Hey, I, I saw it. They're okay. There's a that's a bomb. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Hayes. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The next is a clock. It says it's not out loud. It does not look like a clock. It's a clock. It's a clock. It's a clock. Well, Mr. Light, here's the witness that's correct. This is fuck. Do you have any problems with these tests right now? Um, yes. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole with the witness testimony. The other one would have known the weapon the clock was to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified to enter the apartment. Clearly, a punch. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... To the apartment. You're lying. You're inside the apartment. Oh, oh yeah. Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You her with that clock. The shock of the blow triggered the clock before. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Yes, Your Honor. Of the, uh, the, 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 the 
Tengo que hacer bueno. Ok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the wind is scared to a left, right? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I... But today, I... I... I never... Look, I... 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 Gross. Shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you! Uh, it was him, I tell you, I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn, burn! Give him death. <laughs> order, order in the court, I say. Bjorn, a, a moment, please. There isn't a sure end supporting the defense. Mr. Wright, your honor, claim the sound of witness to listen very carefully. Beep! I think... Day 25. Oh, okay. That certainly is a strange way to pass the time. Well, he is the banker after all. So we've heard the clock. What are your clues? Can you tell me what time it is now? It's at 9.25. Yeah. Nation of Mr. Pink Sock. I come all this way to testify, and look what happens. You shirt me like a criminal. A criminal! You are all slime. God, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sonic. Mia, I mean. Chief. And I'm going to end this up to here with uh, Mia finding the chip It's not right. Don't throw away this one away. I like this thing. Apparently Mia has other thoughts. So we will see what she has to think in the next episode. So caps off to you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.